grouping data now if the uh, if the data is less for example um, this there are less students say 10 students they have, they have been asked about their heights or their favorite subject it's good right uh, say if seven student like art mathematics are like by five it's good but and we can just represent uh, it using pictograph and bar graph but what happens when we deal with a data which is larger than that 10 more more than 10 more than 20 like this uh, because human mind has certain limitations human eyes have also certain limitation so if we see this kind of data uh, this becomes a little bit clumsy and we need some other form or some other way to group this data so this is the data of mathematic mark of 60 students these are 60 students of certain class so what we will do here is we'll group them we'll group them like this we first we'll make a group then we uh, do the tally marking and then the frequency we'll just add these number of vertical bars and put it here so basically these two columns are same so what we'll do we will try to group them 0 to 10 10 to 20 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60. And here, see, since 0 is included here, so 10 will, will not include here. We'll include 10 here. So 0 is not, 10 is not included. 0 to 10 means 0 to 9 basically. And then here 10 to 19, 20 to 30, 29, like, like this uh, will go. But, uh, you know, it depends on you also. You can just uh, include 10 also here that there is not a big issue but we will try to stick to our uh, say you can say a provision that from we will go from 0 to 9 10 will take here so it will this will start from 10 to 9 go up to 19 this is 0 to 9 now this grouping essentially what we have done for 60 students we have tried to squeeze the the data in five or six groups so essentially we are seeing one two three four five six six groups now six groups are now our eyes our mind our brain now we are able to understand better 60 data presented at once 600 data presented at once will be very difficult to understand so now let us uh, go and check for 0 to 10 and likewise you you will also do for others so 0 to 10 let us go 0 to 10, which is 0 to 10, I am not including 10 here, 0 to 9 will go. So 1, this one, 5 and we have, we have 7, right, 5 and 7. So we have 2 entries, so we will put 2 vertical bars here and there is nothing else. So this is 2 and we write just 2 and likewise for every other, please remember, that's that one two three four the fifth one has to be like this cross so this is equal to five and then for sixth one we'll again do this thing right so this data which we grouped is called as grouped frequency distribution right so now here you can draw very good inferences like most of the students have scored between 20 to 40 see most of the students have secured from 20 to 40, 20 to uh, 30 sorry and then from 50 to 60 only one student has secured this uh, marks between 50 to 60 and there are various uh, groups we have made we call them as class interval now as i just said 0 to 10 and 10 to 20 in both of these 10 will 10 is occurring so we cannot take 10 in this group also this group also so there is a kind of conflict and we'll solve this or we'll try to avoid this um, conflict by our convention which we have used that 10 belongs to the next class so 0 to 10 10 will not belong but 10 to 20 10 will belong so 0 to 9 10 to 19 like this right so this lower is called the lower class limit the higher number is called the upper class limit and the difference in all the cases is same see 10 minus 0 is 10 20 minus 10 is 10 so every time the the difference are same and this difference is nothing but width or size of the class interval. Bars with a difference. We have this one as the grouped frequency distribution. Say we have certain marks, right? We have 
marks which are obtained by say 60 to students in mathematics class so we have 0 to 10 so number of marks or number of people number of students who have received or who have secured marks between 0 to 9 there are 2 between 30 to 40 90 like this now this can be showed in a graph this can be displayed graphically in the graph how see from 0 to 10 10 to 20 these are the class intervals 20 20 to 30 and here we have taken marks of the students here we have taken on the uh, x axis we have taken marks of the students y axis we have taken the this is y y axis we have taken number of students now we can easily mark from 0 to 10 2 why because 0 to 10 we have 2 10 to 20 we have 10 so we will mark 10 and we'll make a bar bar out of it see how simple now it is to understand this data using a graph so the heights of the bar they are simply the frequency or number of students of the class interval and see there is no graph there is no gap between these there is no gap right 0 to 10 because why there is no graph because 0 to 10 and then we start again from 10 to 20 so there is no there is no uh, gap so this graphical representation of data in this kind of manner is called the histogram but this this graph is something different here what uh, it's the minor difference is we are not starting from zero to pre previously in this data or in this frequency distribution uh, graph you can say table and this is the graph and this is the table in both of them we started with zero but certain cases like this case in this we have uh, a representation the range we have divided from 20 to 25 because the age of 25 teachers of a school the age is the lowest age is 20 so we have no entry between 0 to 20 or say 0 to 19 no entry so we will show it by a jag line jag line this is called a jag line like this like this and this is called a broken line that we have employed we have used along the horizontal line just to indicate that we are not showing the number between 0 to 20 rather we are starting from 20 the rest thing remains same these are the bars of equal width with no gaps in between because we have the class intervals which are overlapping and the heights of the bar give the number of data items of a particular group and is the frequency so this is the age in the years this is the number of teachers there is a little difference between these two graphs which is it is starting from 0 this is not starting from 0 this is starting from 20 so we have a jack line or a broken line so this from this graph we can easily answer how many teacher are of age 45 years or more but less than 50 years so 40 and more 40 years or more and less than 50 let us go back 45 and less than 50 so this is 5 the next one is how many teachers are of age less than 35 years 35 years this is 35 years we have to take from this point to this point so 6 plus 5 plus 4 that will be 15 this is how we answer and this is the bar with the difference 